Boom, hey internets. I traveled all the way to the Philippines to find some apparel production and this is my second round at it. So let me tell you how it went in this video right here. John Phenom, clothing brand mentor, over 23 years of experience in fashion and apparel development, starting as a designer and moving all the way up to apparel director of a multi-million dollar brand. Okay, as you all know, if you're subscribed to the channel and have been following me on Instagram and TikTok as well, you know that I launched my brand, Non-Beta, over a year ago. And uh, part of it in this process is being a brand owner in this time and space where technology is colliding and starting to disrupt everything with AI, which is a whole nother set of videos and feeling that itch to want to have my own brand to design again. Also, I'm using it as a vehicle so I could do collaborations. So you're catching me at the early stages of the brand and I, of course, want to bring the journey here on this channel where I talk about how to launch clothing brands and there's so many changes and nuances in launching a brand here today and it's different than the videos that I have dropped on this channel over 10 years ago because the industry has changed fashion continues to change and we're seeing a lot of that stuff intersect so there's always a lot to talk about in any case also as you might know I am a proud Filipino and I've done quite a bit of content in the Filipino space as a proud Filipino American, including hosting a forum of Filipino Americans and native Filipinos all working in fashion. Also being a host of my short series on Mix.Global, New Energy was a show where we took a lot of influencers and content creators and had them mix up some styles in fashion at a vintage shop here in Los Angeles. Last year I did an Instagram reel that has over 24,000 views about my return to the Philippines. So this past July I did the same thing, definitely connected with my people at Connection Manila and of course I carved out time to see my family as well. So if you remember the last video I did on this topic, I did find some production and while they're amazing companies, I felt like I wanted to do a round two and get a deeper dive of specifically soft good production. So I'm talking about t-shirts. Now, really quickly, the t-shirt production in Asia is similar to the t-shirt production in South America. When I spent a month in Colombia, I actually went and saw how t-shirts were made and they do not buy blanks. This is unique to the United States where we have hundreds of blank companies that you could purchase from. In Asia, just like in South America, they create their blanks. So there's a ton of smaller shops that can actually make your t-shirt blanks from you. And because of that, because that is the norm, you can actually do any kind of customization you want prior to screen printing. There's a whole world of specifications that you can create and a lot of custom things that you can do along the way. And it's a very interesting process. So this went along with Typhoon Karina that happened at the time that I was there and at the time that I had set up my appointments to meet with these vendors. And so if you don't follow me on my Instagram reels, you should catch up on any of that. But Typhoon Karina and a monsoon were happening at the exact same time that I was trying to get out to these shops for this meeting and this was days before I was going to leave the Philippines so I had to get these meetings in. So something unique is both of these companies own a brand and own retail and I really like that because that means the product that they're making is product that they're selling through their own brand. So besides their own brand, they both do services for other clothing brands, which really highly appeal to me. It tells me many things about them, but multifaceted entrepreneurs, multiple uh, segments of business and customers and clients that they're dealing with. So I really think you have to be fully invested into the fashion and into each garment in order to be involved with those different businesses. So Marvin, who I met first, was the owner of One Love, which is his brand and his shop. And he's also the owner of High Standard, which is his factory or production flow. He had a relatively simple setup, but I could tell everything was very organized. He had a small crew, but I could see the output and I could see the various colorways of the cotton poly GSM fabric that he had available. And the main one he used for a box fit streetwear fit, which is his highest selling product for t-shirt category. In my time there, we went over some fits and a couple other questions that I had, and then I was on the road to that second factory. Now, Lon and Daboy are the team behind DSK, Descartes Sacalier, and DSK is basically their brand, their shop, 
and their factory where they sell blanks. They also do a uh, vintage sales and other street wear. Very interesting. But in terms of cut and sew, DSK is also where they'll do custom soft goods. So similar to Marvin, these guys had their retail shop and then right next door, they had their production, which was a two story. So the first room they had actually has a long table for screen printing multicolor, obviously hand pulled plastisol. Very cool to see this operation. And then we shot upstairs where I could see they had a cutting room and then another dedicated room with different machines that they needed to construct and assemble and finish any of the garments that they offer. Now, something that's also interesting is these guys offered stickers and custom labels. Now, without very high minimums at all. These are sublimated tags that look very close to woven labels. The feel or the hand on it is very different, but to do a 20 piece minimum on any of those labels was very interesting to see. Now, both of these factories were an hour and change south of Manila, and I'm looking forward to testing out both factories with some product in the next coming months. So to keep current on the journey, follow me on Instagram and TikTok for mine and also for non-beta so you can see as I grow the brand. You know, as a designer that's done countless trips to Southern and Northern China for production, it's always a breath of fresh air to see what other countries are doing and especially my beloved home country of the Philippines and see how they're advancing their fashion forward. In any case, any questions for your brand, drop them all down below or you can email me here and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.